In this video, we're going to show how VMRay Analyzer's VMRay Threat Identifier, or VTI Engine, can be used for doing automated scoring of malicious behavior. We're going to show this with an example of an analysis of a common crypto locker ransomware. In the next video, we'll also show how the VTI rules can be tailored through customization for your own target environment. First up, we upload the ransomware sample through the VMRay web interface. Note the VMRay automatically recognizes the sample as JavaScript. VMRay provides five target machines in various configurations for analysis. We also selected the options to submit to OpSwap MetaDefender and VirusTotal for multi-AV scanning. We can see that the AV detection rates are dangerously low. In all probability, at the time of this analysis, your AV would not have detected this ransomware. Next, once the VMRay analysis is completed, let's select one of the resulting analyses that was done on the Windows 7 target machine. We can see from the process graph that processes were created and the code was injected into legitimate Windows processes. Drilling down into the created files section of the report, we can see that many files were created and modified. Once the ransomware has successfully encrypted all the files on the target machine, we can see from the captured screenshots the ransom message. Note that because of IP geolocation, the message is localized to match where the ransomware was run. Now let's take a look at the encryption process. We'll go into the grouped behavior section of the report. We can see in the host behavior details that after explorer.exe had code injected into it, 251 files were given the extension .encrypted as they were being encrypted. After the files are renamed, the content of the original unencrypted files are read and the encrypted content is written back in, completing the encryption process. Now let's take a look at the VTI score. Without any signatures for this malware, it scored very highly as extremely malicious. Several behaviors in particular contributed to the high score, such as attempts to detect digital forensics tools, code injection, downloading of data, and the creation of many files. Thank you for watching. In part two, we'll show you how to customize a VTI rule for your own environment, or if you like, Check out our website or follow us on Twitter for more posts like this.